Hello everybody, it's your boy Chidoi here and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna make this quick. I worked extremely hard on this video, so if you guys do enjoy it, it would mean a lot if you considered subscribing because I'm trying to hit 500k before the year ends. So, with that being said, have a good time and enjoy. And now for tonight's top story. Over the past few weeks, bodies have been found in the Blaine County area, leaving local law enforcement stuck at a dead end with no clues nor any trace of the man responsible. That is, until now, the individual claiming responsibility for these killings calls himself the Butcher. Witnesses describe him as being six feet tall, average build, with long hair. We spoke with local law enforcement and they are working tirelessly around the clock, day and night. Yo, fuck the Butcher. They will make it their duty to bring this individual to justice. And they are urging everyone to stay inside, lock your doors, and use a weapon if you have one. This isn't a hoax, and this isn't fake news. This is a serious threat to your safety. The Butcher is out there, and if you're out there alone, he could find you, and you could be his next victim. So please, be safe, and beware of the Butcher. Thank you, and good night. If you guys are shopping around for your next game, make sure to check out G2A.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available to pretty much any game. A while back when I had to buy GTA several times for reasons I will not name, I went to G2A because it was significantly cheaper than anywhere else. I mean, the prices on screen speak for themselves, so link will be in the description if you are interested. There's one that showed up. Is that the only one showing up? Great, now the cop showing up. Oh, oh okay, that is a dead body. Hold on. Wait a minute, wait it's a minute. Christ. Who does this remind you of? Letting them know that there's a sign of struggle in the hotel room. Looks like a couple things were flipped over. Right, great, they see the knife in the chest. Usually they can't see it because the game just doesn't want to work properly for them. Uh, I'm going to go get my little uh, fingerprint thing. I'm going to see if there's any fingerprints in here. Now I'm going to respond to my own scene as uh, my cop character to see what's going on. Help them out more with the scene. All right, just so you guys know, I'm an actual cop on the server. So you might be seeing some cop stuff from me later on. Hey! What's going on? Hey. Oh shit, there it is. How you doing? Yeah, there's a dead body in here. What happened? Housekeeping found the body? Is that what's going on? Uh, it's, it's what it's looking like. Uh, I went to reception. Uh, they said the housekeeping found this greeting card if you want to take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Does that name sound familiar to you? Uh, yes, it oh, does. Oh god, he's back. Alright, and uh, just to clear things up, uh, in case there's any confusion, um, I'm, not, I'm not playing as a fake cop or anything, this is my real cop character, I'm just playing as it to help them out with the scene. You got a case on this guy, don't you? How many uh, victims has he got? This makes it seven, I believe. I'm gonna get a face mask, this stinks. Alright, I'm gonna go throw some yellow suitcases into the water again because that will be fun. Right? I don't think anybody will come down here. So I think we're pretty safe right over here. Let's go dump the suitcases. Also, I got a haircut. Um, they're aware that I have long hair, so we cut it short. Now I look 10 times better. Am I right? All right, great. Bright yellow suitcases as usual. I put three, one, two, and three for them 
to find and I made it yellow so it's easy for them to find now we're gonna get the hell out of here and put a now with one call saying luggage discovered here at postal 1012 1013 and watch the whole mess unfold oh a cop just drove right by that looks like an FBI agent all right he's here looks like he found one great all right well FBI is currently discovering the case they're opening it and uh, yep there's body parts in them again as usual so haha -ha, have fun with that lol oh look at this are they showing up to the call okay hey fellers would you like a ride shut up what would you like a ride i mean if you could sit in the the back bit sure where can i take you fellas yeah. to keep where's going, your house keep, 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 keep going seven, that's the all right you got it he is extremely drunk just yeah. Oh, I can tell. I am aware. I'm guessing this is it right here. It's that 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 motor m motor home right there. Thank, Thank you. For right. the Thanks for the ride. Of course. Have a good one, fellas. Yeah. You Take too. care of yourself. Bye bye now. Okay, I think I might kill them both. LOL. All right, his friend left. He's just up there chilling. Hey, buddy. You still drunk? No, I'm better. Okay. What's your name by a chance? Yeah, uh, it's Ace Vanderhoof. Have we met before? We might have. I don't know. I kind of thought maybe you were in the Marine Corps and I maybe met you there, but I don't know. Maybe we met at the bar? That's a possibility. Want to go get a drink? Yeah, I was going to wait for one of my buddies to, or the guy that was with us yesterday to come back. So just uh, give him a moment. I can come back in five. Talk to you then. We're on channel 20 if you, you want to talk, all right? Oh, great. You got it. Sounds good. He's got to be aware that I'm trying to kill him, right? I've been stalking him for like the past 10 minutes. No, radio 20. Hello, He's... hello. Can you guys hear me? He's on the radio. I don't want to respond. Can you guys hear me? This is Radio Channel 20. This is Ace. How you doing, Ace? Uh, you can call me Porkchop. Alright, Porkchop. Want me to come pick you up? Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling over. Alrighty. Hey, Roy, where are you? Or Ray, I mean... I've been big uh, guy. Back at the, uh, where we got pulled over. They were waiting for me. So you're on, uh, Joshua. Joshua, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right, that's where he's, you got pulled over. Yeah, he's coming up. Give me a second. Alrighty. Alright, let's just go to Joshua. Let's go, uh, pick him up. Oh, sure thing. Alright, I'm gonna start taking him away. So, how long you live here, pork chop? Oh, just visiting. I don't actually live in this town. Every time I'm about ready to get moving, I'm uh, I get called back to uh, to the fucking military base. So he's the other way. Oh, not this way, East Joshua. More towards the police station. Okay. Like, almost right out front of it. Right, I'll make a U-turn when it's safe. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> it's like totally safe to make a U-turn right now. Still hasn't mentioned the damn thing. <laughs> he's probably wondering what the hell is going on. Hey, hey, you mind if we uh, pull over? I gotta take a piss. Yeah, we'll pull over up here. Can I see your radio? I'd like to see what brand you got. There it is. Oh, thanks. I there is radio out the window. <laughs> Don't need that anymore, do we? Oh, what the fuck? You wanna go take a piss up here? Come on, man. Just take me back to my buddy. I thought you needed to take a piss. I can take a piss. I can hold it. Okay, what is You gotta make up your mind. Why don't we take a piss right here? This is a very odd place to pull over out of nowhere. Considering well, you could have pulled isn't that what you wanted there. me to do earlier? Yeah, all right. Go take a piss. I'm gonna let him think everything's cool. And then at the last second, I'm gonna kill him. Did he, does he not realize that I just threw his radio out the window? <laughs> See? It's a pretty oh, nice place to go pee, you know. right? Alright, come on. Oh, want me to get the door for you? No, I can get it. Okay, alright. Hey... What? What? Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, oh, fuck! Oh. Alright, relax. Oh, my God! That's gonna be it for now. Oh, it still doesn't hurt as bad as the bullet I got, but gosh. Come on, get back in the truck. Oh, shit. Don't worry about out. a thing, buddy. Tonight, you are going to heaven. Okay, so apparently he's wearing an earpiece, and I don't notice. You there? Who is this? I, I just got called. Called by who? Who's calling you? Uh, my friend. Oh. Yeah, here, he's taking a piss. Let me go get him for you. Shit. You son of a bitch. What are you doing? Shit. You got a phone on you? I forgot to search you. Get out of the car. Shit. Get out. Help! Fucking help! Get out. You good? Hey, give me one sec, brother. Uh, he's having trouble with his wiener, if you know what I'm saying. Oh. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Don't worry about it. Hey, hey, you good? It. Are you still peeing? Hold on. 
You son of a yeah, bitch. Yeah, no worries. You were calling your boy? Come on, man. It was just it was just a joke. Come on, man. All right, get back Shit. in there. Shithead. After this, I'm gonna get your friend. You asshole. I knew there was something suspicious about you. <laughs> Fuck. You think? Guess what, buddy? Before what? I got in your car, after the way you were talking, I gave him all your information about the car, so have fun with that. Oh, <sighs> okay. Well, thanks for telling me. Now I know to hide the car. Isn't that great? You just showed me your hand. Oh, so, uh, you know, don't need to be uh, a dick or anything, but, you know, we're kind of waiting here for you. Oh, you are? Okay, yeah. yeah I'll meet yeah. you in about, uh, let's say, um, can you give me like five minutes? Five minutes? Um, yeah, yeah sure. That's okay, I'll fine. meet up with you in a sec. Yo, Neil Farm. Yeah, that's the perfect place to do it, isn't it? Nobody lives here. Fucking insane, oh. man. Here's the basement. Great. I could put you out before I start. If you want, you Man, know what I'm I saying? Didn't survive Nam just to be fucking shanked by an asshole. Oh Jesus! Fuck. Okay, I can give you the veterans discount. Oh, did you just pass out on me. Well, all right then. I guess that saved me the bullet. <laughs> the veterans discount. How dark. Hey, you still with me? Uh, what's your face, Ace? I'm trying to get some janitor's clothing on so I don't get any actual blood on my clothes. Oh. Hey Ray, is this you? That's no, me. So where you at again? Uh, I'm 1025 East Joshua Road. Okay, cool. I'll see you in a bit. Right, talk to you soon. Yeah, pork chop, you there? Yeah, this is pork chop. How you doing? Yeah, slight change of plan. Um, if you go to the Route 68 approach and then go to Postal 915, I'll meet you there. 915. Alright. I'm gonna circle the block and see if there's any cops. I just spotted him at his house right now. He's right up here. Area looks pretty clear to move in on him. There you are, Ray. Hey. How's it going, big guy? Uh, I don't know where Ace went. Looks like we apparently split up, you know what I'm saying? Do you know where he would've gone? No clue. He, uh, Chance, uh, you know, he went to go take a piss and then he just left. Gone. So. Damn, that doesn't seem like him. I think he got creeped out by me. I didn't seem creeped out, so I don't know why he oh, would. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm, I mean, I'm a pretty cool like a guy, guy, right? Yeah. I, I'm, yeah, I'm dressed well, right? Definitely. Yeah. I love those Thanks, glasses, man. I have to say. Want to go inside and have a drink or something? Yeah, can do. Why not? Anybody else home? Yep, just me. Hey, uh, Ray? Yeah, you can you come back outside for me? Yeah, uh, yeah, let me grab a few beers quick. There's, Give me a second. Uh, there's something, uh, I think you might want to look at this. Maybe you want to call, uh, oh. an electrician or something. Come look at this doorbell. What doorbell? I have a doorbell. Oh! Gonna look around the house for any cameras as well. No CCTV, which is great. Alright, we already chopped up Ray's body. Time to go toss him off a bridge somewhere as well. I'm looking for cleaning supplies so I can cover up my tracks. I feel like I put my hand on maybe that gate right there. And I may have touched the door with my bare hands. There we go. Let's clean his door and everything. Kicking up sand over footprints. There's tons of footprints here. I'm just going to start kicking up the sand all over all this, all these footprints. I don't want the uh, you know police to see my footprints and all that. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. <sighs> I thought they were after me. I as well lose my mind. Alright, now I'm cleaning the rails, blah, blah, blah. And now we out of here. I'm going to throw over uh, Ray's luggage now as well. Over here, preferably, if I can. Alright, there we go. Threw luggage over. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Please explode for once. Please explode. There we go, there it is, all right. Okay, so I put the luggage here because I threw it down over there and I'm just gonna have it uh, fall around here. And they'll be able to find out where it's at and then I'll put another call in for another one in Polito Bay. One showed up, I think that's definitely FBI. Come on, looks like it's coming right to it. That's great. You'll see it, you gotta see it from here. There you go, there you go. You see it, right? Dude, right, he went right to it. <laughs> there you go, bud. by the riverbank. He found it. 10-4, we've just had a murder. Oh, shit. Not again. All right, he's looking for greeting cards, but I'm just gonna say no greeting cards, but matches previous MO. Looks like another unit showing up, I believe. We've had at least, I think it was nine murders in the past month. 
month and a half. Yep. Um, serial killer. Well, I'm gonna be in the it's the butcher. Well, I've heard things about him. Our victim is gonna be a Ray. He was uh, reported a missing go. Maybe fingerprint the case. And uh, you're probably uh -huh. not gonna get anything. This guy's really sophisticated. A lot of people are going to ask. I've gotten this question before. How are you so good at being a serial killer? You know, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> want to clear things up. I'm not a weirdo or anything like that. At the end of the day, this is just a video game and nothing more. It's just a fun game of cat and mouse. So what's the briefing on Monty? So um, we've had an active serial killer for about a month and a half. He's been dumping his bodies in yellow suitcases, cause of death, uh, for a good portion of them is a asphyxiation and a stabbing single knife to the chest his code name is the butcher my last I... victim was uh his name was brandon fat he had a knife through his chest there were obvious signs of stroke struggle the man had bruises on his face um and the latest murder is going to be a ray uh, unknown last name our latest missing person is going to be ace vanderhoof and let's just keep our eyes out for yellow suitcases if you find one over by the riverbanks or in the water, report that to us immediately. <clears throat> Any questions? Uh, a nope. couple. This Let's is go. the same guy that I worked the case with when I was FBI, right? Yes. The suitcase. Okay, so he likes to get those things by waters and under bridges. Yes. And is he still going with the same theme of killing people with the security background or whatnot? Uh, his MO has changed. He's evolving, so we might have a spree on our hands. Any relation between the the victims in the past three days? Past three days, we've had two victims. We have had three victims. We had a Brendan Fat. The he has no relation to any of these victims today. But these two victims today, they were good friends. They were going to go out and drink. All right, we'll keep an eye out for it. UBC has own deputies. I'm about to sign you guys patrol districts. So Matthew, go to Polito. Simon, go to Polito. Brian, go to Polito. Walter, go to Polito. These four guys right here, we're staying in Sandy. You guys get on that? All right, and yeah. uh, if you're in Polito, Grapeseed, or Sandy, just keep your eyes out on the water. If you ever drive by, look for a yellow suitcase. If you find one, notify me. This detective or the other detective immediately. All right, suitcase is here. Now we wait for them to find it again. LOL. There we go, cops on their way, it looks like. The other one on their way. Can't tell if that's a desync or if they're just actually crashing. Ah, oh, here it is. There they go, they found it. Alright, they're gonna fingerprint test it again. Again, no prints, cause gloves, haha. -ha. Did you open it? It's starting to smell a lot. Yeah. I haven't opened it, and it's fucking putrid already. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do the honor. Get the zipper undone. Okay, yeah. Bunch of body parts. <laughs> yeah, no. No. <clears throat> that's, I think that's gonna be the last case they find for the night. Yeah, let's sample the blood. We'll fingerprint the outside and check for any DNA that's left on top of it. Hey, uh... See if, he, if his hands are there, see if he can run under his nails. If there's other DNA under his nails, we might be able to get his get our killer. That means he might have put up the uh, fight. Uh, we've got Ace's head in here. No, if it DNA, check the blood. If it comes back to Ace, then we can right. probably identify that this is him. Yeah, I'm getting Ace Farrander off too. Alright guys, unfortunately, that's where the video ends. The cops and the FBI are still left at a dead end. They don't really have any evidence to use to find me just yet but maybe that will change in the future so hope you guys enjoyed please show your support by liking the video if you did enjoy like i said earlier subscribe if you're new i'm trying to hit 500k before the year ends and we only have a month left so it would mean a lot to me thanks a lot for watching this has been your boy chidoi and i will see you guys in the next one peace Three away in route from Great Ocean Highway. Three hundred one, show me twenty three with the bank at this time. Stand by for further. Three hundred one to Station Seventeen. Be advised, we're gonna have a body at my twenty. Start CID to my location.